All right, I've got to bust out some pieces for my store. I'll leave a link so you can see what all the stuff I do. We got these three boards, and we're gonna stagger them like so. I need to stain them, so I'm gonna use because I, what I want to do is have different colors. I might do this one blue, leave this one its own color, and darken this one. And um, so I've got gun stock and this bleached blue. So let's let's do that. Actually, let's use this wax paper so we don't stain the uh, the bench. Here's my little key, and we'll open up these cans. Get a little dirty here. All right, so we've got the blue. This one stays as is, and this one will stain dark with the uh, gun stock. We've got our three pieces and we'll stagger them like so. Now let's go ahead and glue these up and we've got the wax paper below so that um, this won't stick to the bench. We'll place these down wherever the staggering is going to occur. I think that'll do it. We'll just let this dry now. So while that dries we'll go ahead and um, prep this for scroll sawing. We've got our board, and we'll use some packing tape to, um, to secure the image to the board. All right, so we're gonna do some scrolling. There's very thin detail or pieces that I have to cut right there with the flowers. I mean, I don't know if that's going to hold up with that that thin branch and then the uh, petals of the uh, flowers. Either way I could always, because this is going to go glued on, because this is going to go glued on the board that we're gluing, uh, that's drying up, so um, we could always go back and do something. Let's see what happens. Also have fresh blades. JP was mentioning, oh, you need to put fresh blades on there, and um, I don't have any blades with really fine, fine teeth, so we'll just pick this one. The piece I'm working on is called First Love. I named it that, and then I could not help but think back to my first love. So. As a young teen, I used to ride bike all over Sweetwater here in Miami. I'd go riding to my friend's house, Ernie, over on the edge of town. I sort of considered Flagler like the border because it was and is a wide street, you know, to this day. All the streets in this town were sort of narrow, so Flagler and also 107th Avenue hugged the city. Anyhow, one day I was riding bike on the other end of my street, the street where I lived. I stopped for some reason and I looked up. And there, through a second-story window, I saw a girl looking at me. When my eyes caught hers, she vanished, and the window blinds just rattled at how quickly she went off. Uh, I thought to myself, well, hey there. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if she's pretty. It was not long after that that school started. I used to take the morning bus to school at the corner end of the street. So I noticed that the girl from the window was also waiting for the bus along with all the other kids. At the time, there were a lot of new kids to the area, new faces. So not long after the first morning bus ride, I was going home and the bus was full. 
uh, there were three girls that were sitting in front of me. One of them turned and struck up a conversation with me. She was asking my name and what I liked and on and on. I had three girls chatting, uh, facing me, you know. Uh, so I had noticed that the girl from the window, you know, the one that was checking me out a few days back, well, she was seated two rows in front of where I was. When I was asked a few more questions by the girls in front of me, I turned and asked those girls uh, that were questioning me, uh, so what's her name? Pointing to the window girl. <laughs> It got quiet for a second, and the one that had struck up conversation with me, um, she told me her name, but very reluctantly. Like, she wasn't happy that, that I had dismissed their attention and pointed it, focused it at, on the other girl. When my window lass heard me ask the question, she shrunk down into her seat with embarrassment. The next time that I got on the bus to go home after school, I went right to where she was seated and sat next to her window girl we talked and smiled it was, it was beautiful at some point we started hanging out a lot sometimes over at her house and sometimes over at my house always with parents around for the for the most part but not always one day her mom walked over while we were at my house and you know walked over to pick her up so I said bye as as they were walking away but you know, then she turned and ran up to me and planted a tender kiss on my cheek. We became boyfriend and girlfriend after that. So there they are, the two young lovers, first love. We're gonna, I don't know how good this primer is, but it's been sitting there. I've used most of it. I don't know if it's dried up. It's doable. A little bit thick, but it's primer. So we're gonna paint them in white and then distress them a little bit. Um, first love, innocence, white. Okay, so these should be dry. And we're gonna secure these three boards a little, fasten them with some strips. We've got these strips here. All right, so we'll glue this up. This board here is a little bit lower. I mean, this is all reclaimed, right? So, let's do this procedure. All right. And I'm gonna add this here. So let's. that glue glue and go ahead and If you'd like to follow my story, subscribe and click the bell. Check out the links in the description and I'll catch you guys next time.